But now, if a council builds a council house within after two years, it has to offer it at a below market rate to the tenants who can often get money, a mortgage on it. So then the council has to sell the house. And then it gives most of the money back to the Treasury under yep. existing rules. So there's actually no incentive for councils to build council houses. It's completely illogical. What you need <laughs> to be able to do, I and mean, you've hit the nail on the head when you're talking about people want to have the confidence to know they can actually have a leasehold for a much longer period, just yeah. be secure and safe. Yes, it would be nice to buy. But remember, you don't have to go too far back, even around a wealthy area of West London, where people actually had long-term leases for mm. their life. They didn't have to buy their assets were actually diverted towards pensions and other areas like mm. that. This fixation that you have to have your property. If we lived in the family castle, you have this idea that this is my estate for generational stuff. Most of us live in fairly modest houses. Mm. We just want to make sure it's going to be secure. Why do I have to spend my life nailed to a cross and paying mm. back a mortgage mm. when actually I could be funding us a different way?